Hello and welcome to Unpacking. I have I, I jumped into this game a little bit earlier and started a new one and then played around so I could get the mechanics. And then I immediately erased it, came up with an entirely new idea. So let's start it going. This book belongs to Red because obviously it does. Now let's move on to 1997. I was a kid and this looks like a kid's bedroom. Oh, I didn't check out all the mechanics before. Okay, here's what here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna unpack these everything onto the floor. I'm just gonna put everything down over here, because this is how I would uh, oop, turn. Nope, turn. There we go. This is how I would unpack my my house if I were moving again. I used to move around a lot when I was a kid. And this is how I would do it. That was a funny, that was a funky noise. All right, put that over there. I look like tapes to go with it. A stack of books. There we go. That I don't. Yeah. There we go. And then close the box. Always important to fold them down. I never fucking did it, but it's important to do it. Everything goes either on the floor or on something else. I'm not even rotating these damn things. Well, that can go there. Simon says... A dreidel. This is a Jewish kid. Rubik's Cube. Checkers slash chess. These things came with both. And procedure legally distinct from operation. <laughs> Gotta be legally distinct from operation. Don't want to get in trouble for it. Make all this stuff look really nice on the floor. You can go right over there real quick. What the hell is that? I don't know what this thing is. Can't tell if I move it closer. It doesn't really get any bigger. A Game Boy. Only awkwardly, the A and B buttons are vertical from each other rather than oblique from each other. And that's a journal, so I can't do anything with that. The journal has a lock on it, too. A locked journal, to me, says... Uh, says something different about who this is. Yeah, and then you're like... You can have the soccer ball, that thing, and this thing on the floor. You can't have any of this other shit. Wait a minute. That's a trash can. Why can't the trash can go on the floor? That's absurd. Hmm. Okay. Well, if the trash can can't go on the floor, it can't go on the bed either? What? Why can't the trash can go on? You won't let me put this fucking thing anywhere, will you? Maybe if I don't have to see it. No. Nope. It can't go there? Alright, fuck that. I'm gonna deal with the trash can in a bit. You can go right there. Checkers and chess? Oh, come on. I'd play that all the time. Fine. Let's take these books. Nope, can't put books up on the bed. You're not giving me a whole lot of, uh, whole lot of things to, to do here. Oh, I guess I can put this up on the wall. That's fine. Stuffed animals all go on the bed. All stuffed animals go on the bed. And they all face the same direction. They have marching orders. Very nice, clearly organized. The Rubik's Cube will also go on the bed. Okay, fine, whatever. Y'all suck. I can't put nothing where I want to put it. What about these toys? They should go on the bed. Y'all suck. All right. I'll take my books and... Oh, I can, I can actually line them up.
There. The books are very nicely placed. I gotta open this side. Put all the mini figurines in here. Because you won't let me put them on the fucking bed where they belong. Little troll doll. This thing ought to be hiding from, from people. Right there. Eye level for a kid. Make sure it's hiding right there at eye level. And why is the backpack not allowed to be on the floor? That is exactly where a backpack belongs. Over there. Y'all... You let me put it there? Fine, whatever. Tamagotchi goes under the pillow. Yeah. Got a... And the dreidel. Dreidel goes under the pillow, pillow too. No? Let me tell you right now. There is some stress here. You want to play with a dreidel when you feel like playing with it. Can I put the Rubik's Cube? Cannot. All right. Well, fine. Y'all are ridiculous. Put that there. Actually, no. That should be facing this way. You're going to be sitting on the... You're going to be sitting at this desk. You're going to turn around. It's 1997, so at some point you're going to get like a TV and put it right over here. It's just going to be a bit. Wait a minute. That thing's not allowed to be there either? Oh, it's a journal, so it's got to be under the pillow. Man, that's ridiculous. The Tamagotchi is going to sit right there because it's going to get knocked off of the damn desk or the little fucking drawer thing. It's going to get knocked off of there, and that is exactly how Tamagotchis are supposed to be knocked off. There, hide it behind the change, too. And this thing is going to go right there. All the tapes, I guess. No, that needs to go this... All right, fine, whatever. That can go all the way off to the side. I guess all of my school supplies have to sit over there, and the games and shit should sit over here. Can I open this? There we go. Those go in there. Simon Says... Oh, wait, that's just called Simon, not Simon Says. The jump rope. I don't know. I don't like the way that they're making me do a lot of things here. Hmm. The trash can probably has to go over there, yeah. Man, they forced me to do a lot of things here. Scissors ought to go in a cup, not on the flat on the desk. The flashlight. It is... Well, uh, oh, hey, Broken Icicle. Uh, it is not a child's game, but it is pretty damn close. This is called Unpacking. And uh, in Unpacking, you take a bunch of boxes and unpack them so you can move into a house. And I have unpacked all the boxes. I'm just trying to figure out where to put things. And this is a little kid's room. And this is exactly what you want to wake up to every morning. This creepy-ass halo dog staring at you. Which is definitely going to come out of that poster and murder somebody. That's absolutely how that's going to work. And then you've got a camera. I mean, I guess the camera should go here so that when you're staring out the window at your neighbors, you can take pictures of them. And then I've got the board game procedure. And then the jump rope. And that's it. It doesn't seem like the jump rope goes anywhere. I guess I can put it there. Fine. Yeah. Give me a star and say I did a good job. That's... Nah, that's crap. They wouldn't let me put all of this crap on the floor. They wouldn't let me put a bunch of things on the bed. They're ridiculous. Look at that. I got photos or stickers or something. You unlock things. Finally, my own room. And an achievement. I unlocked an achievement. Always like doing that. What is this? Playback. Sure. Let's play back me unpacking everything onto the floor. And I don't get to do anything. So I just got to stare at all the things getting thrown on the floor. Great. And I couldn't put the trash can on the bed or any of the other stuff I wanted to. It's not a mess. This is how I moved into houses when I was a little kid. Take everything out of the boxes and figure out where you want to put things. It feels like some sort of weird avant-garde video game at this point because everything just kind of bounces around to places. There. 
that was a nice little replay, May of 1997. So, got a, a kid's room with, <laughs> with a picture of their pig wearing a bow tie. And I, I don't feel like it's a thing that looks aesthetically pleasing. It should at the end, because I don't think they let me look. I don't think I'm allowed to make it look like shit. I don't think I'm allowed to make it look terrible. 2004, all right. We jumped seven years, and now they're in college or an apartment. Well, I definitely unpacked my college apartment very differently than how I'm going to unpack this one. Computer tower definitely goes there. We're, we're so long ago, people didn't recognize this. Unpacking boxes is exactly what this game is about. You unpack stuff. So let me just throw all of these things on the floor. Nothing can go on the bed. Oh wait, but I got books. They can stack. That's nice and neat. And that is a... That is a, a picture of somebody. I can't tell what that is. That is... Ah! All right, I think the game might be a furry game. People who are not human beings, perhaps. Oh, you brought the pig with you. Of course you did. And a toothbrush, which I will also set on the floor. And toothpaste. Let's open this closet real quick. Hang that up. Oh, you're an art student. Obviously, you've got the art stuff, but that little statue, you're obviously an art student. And you've upgraded to a CD player. And here's your nicely folded pants and a shoe. Why would you pack your shoes in a box? I don't quite understand why you'd do that. Boots. And you packed them in different boxes. And a bra. Another bra. Those go on the bed. Just put bras on the bed. That's where bras belong. <laughs> if they're not on you, they should be on the bed. You brought a couple of your stuffed animals. It's a fascinating thing to decide to bring all these stuffed animals with you to college. Also, that's the exact same eraser that you had as a child. Socks. Underwear. More underwear. A toaster. Okay. Toaster goes on the bed. Why not a... Why not a draw? A, a drawer. Oh, I'm not putting anything in anywhere right now. I'm just kind of putting them all over the place so that I can put them away later. I want to get everything before I do anything. And then, man, you packed... You packed these up in a box instead of like a suitcase? For the bras, for the underwear, for everything else, I'll put them in a drawer. I'm just not putting them there right now. Because that feels weird to me. Because every... And there's a mouse, so obviously that should go with the computer. I had a feeling you'd pack a mouse and a keyboard separately. What the hell is this thing? I don't know what that thing is. You brought a ruler with you. Looks like the same ruler you had before. Got a lot more books now. That's definitely anatomy, so you're doing art for that. Couple of bags, a lanyard. Fold all these clothes up real nice. And you just, you have the same piggy bank. All right, that is going to go way up here where you cannot touch it. You're in college. You're not touching any of your fucking money ever again. That's how money works in college. Soccer ball is now dirty. Nice. So this is a used soccer ball now. Same one from the fucking home that you moved into in 97 seven years before I'm shocked you can keep a, a thing working for that long you don't want to go to college now <laughs> hey I do nothing else that's probably discouraged people from going to college I discourage a lot of students from going it's not something that everybody ought to do though I don't know anything about you so maybe you ought to go I'm just throwing all of my shit on the floor <laughs> This person's crap is all going on the floor. 
I, I had been putting clothes up on the bed, but I think it's just like rolled up. So socks, underwear, and bras go up on the bed. Toilet paper, that goes on the nightstand. Not in the bathroom. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, so I've got a fridge over here that is my kitchen. That's, so this is an apartment, not a dorm. All right, that, that makes more sense now. I thought I was putting things in a dormitory and the bathroom and everything would be somewhere else. Okay, so let's take all of these and I cannot stand them up like that unless I put them like this. Can't fit all of them. All right, fine. Put that there and that there. Where are all of the journals and all of the books and all of that? This person upgraded from tapes to CDs at least, so they're not having to deal with as much crap all over the damn place and I don't know what the hell this thing is let me get a closer look at it what is this thing? is this a mouse pad it is okay that's a mouse pad got it that makes more sense now and you didn't you didn't pack a keyboard where the hell is your keyboard you cannot use your computer what kind of crazy person are you Oh, and we have an extra box in here, so I've got more unpacking to do. That's exciting. The toilet paper probably ought to go in here, right? Soap. A cup. Oh, for toothbrush and shit. Floss. Cologne or perfume. A hairbrush, that goes in the shower. Shampoo, that goes. Oh, wait. Is this a medicine cabinet? Nope. First aid kit? Holy hell. A worm? I don't see a worm. First aid kit goes on a bath on the toilet. A bra. All right. Well, that'll go back over this way. I can't stack the bras together, which is kind of weird because bras do stack together fairly well most of the time. I should take that toilet paper, though. No, actually, that belongs on the nightstand. You need toilet paper. You need toilet paper everywhere. Tampons. Tampons go on the floor next to the toilet because I'm a gross motherfucker. And that is how that works. Toilet paper goes on the roll and you wrapped it like that, which is interesting. They're making a statement. That is a political statement right there. Pads. Trash can. A frying pan. Okay, frying pan does not go in here. And fold up the box. I hope once I unpack everything from all of the boxes, put all of my shit on the floor real quick, maybe it'll start telling me where I'm not allowed to have things. Because this is a college apartment. That means that everything is allowed to be on the floor. At least that's what I remember from college anyway. Put all of the silverware on the floor where it belongs. That is where silverware goes. I'll hear no arguments. <laughs> I won't entertain arguments about where the silverware goes. <laughs> Chopping board. I mean, they have a spot for draining stuff, so I guess that goes there. And you're supposed to keep these things on the stove at all times. Wait, I, there we go. Put that there. There we go. Big old pot. And then vegetable oil garbage bags, scouring pads, a spatula. That gives me enough space for a uh, key. Okay, there's my keyboard. That can be unpacked directly to the computer. I can start stacking things or I can start stabbing things. Put that up there. Nobody's allowed to touch that knife. Then I've got another... That one's... Why... Why do you have an open scour? Like, throw away your scouring pads. And there's another boot. You should throw away scouring pads rather than packing one that's just sitting out. Friend is trying to get answers. Should he be punished? <laughs> answers are fine. Questions are fine. 
As long as those questions don't require me to answer something ridiculous and crazy. Where's the paper towel holder? You don't have a paper towel holder. What kind of crazy ass apartment is this? All right, that's everything. And now you're upset about all the things. Nothing is in the right place. I just can't do nothing right, can I? That trash can should absolutely be right by the toilet. Everyone should agree with me on that. That's where it goes. Oh, it can go up against the wall. All right, well, that's fine then. These things, you obviously want them in the fucking shower. That's fine. And these go underneath the thing. Fine. Put them there. What about this? This is like a little... That's also a towel. It should probably go on a towel rack. Hmm. There. You've got... A... You had a perfect place for me to put that shit, and then you got upset at me for putting it there. That seems kind of ridiculous. <laughs> if I open the door, I hit all of my dishes, so they don't want me to do that. Let's take the plates and put them nicely there. Stack the plates together. All of the big ones and the little ones there. Mixed bowls. That's something realistic. That's actually a realistic thing. But these towels get wrapped around handles. Not supposed to actually put that shit away. Forks, and then we put the knives, and those things. And then I shove more into the drawer than I'm allowed to shove into the drawer, because that is how these drawers work. These draw this drawer is never going to open again. I can pretty much guarantee you that right now. It's going to stay fucking closed, and every time I try to open it, I'm going to remember, oh yeah, I can't open it. Because if I try to... Well, this should actually be a little further out. If I try to open it, that thing's going to fucking slam into something. Alright. This thing is... What is this? A panini press? Or like a George Foreman grill? I think that's basically the same thing. They let me be real lazy about this stuff. Some of it can just go sit up top. All of these things belong on the counter. That is where all of the coffee and sugar and everything else goes. And these go underneath the thing. I just have to actually move the door. I'm gonna move things so that the door can be moved. There we go. Under the sink where all of them will get moldy. Because that is how all of this works. Roach spray. And tea towels. Wait, those aren't tea towels. Wait, I can't put the fucking George Foreman grill there? I guess it goes up top then. And the knife goes with the cutting board. And the salt goes down here. Which is not how you would do that. Don't do that shit. That's fucking psychotic. And this should go in the sink. <laughs> should definitely go in the sink. God damn. You don't like any of the things that I do, do you? Damn it. This fucking game is hateful. Spiteful. Hmm. All right. Go to the bedroom. Toilet paper should definitely be here. That's ridiculous. You're going to make me put it away. In the bathroom. Fine. I'll take this thing, and I guess it goes on the door. Silly. It's ridiculous. Take the toaster and put it in here. It doesn't like it being there, so I have to move it next to... Okay, that's crowded and kind of crappy. Hmm. All right. Alarm clock goes there, flat against the wall, and it flashes 12, like an alarm clock will forever do. There is no fixing it. That is what it does. There is nothing to it other than that. That is what it forever shall be. This is a... Oh, that's an iPod. No, it's got an X on it. So, I guess it's just an MP3 player. Stuffed animals go on the bed. Because that's where they let me put it last time. Action figures go on the shelf. Because that's the only place they'll let me put that shit. And I guess this has to go there, and this has to go there. 
Then where are my shoes supposed to go? Can I put them in? <laughs> I can put my shoes back there? That seems kind of ridiculous. I mean, that's not really the best place for shoes. If you're doing art all the time, you're going to need your art like thing there. So that's fine. The Eiffel Tower, you're obviously either in France or dreaming of going to Paris. The Rubik's Cube is useless to you now because you've solved it a million times or taken the stickers off so much that it doesn't actually match what it's supposed to anymore. You got a poster of... What is this? Murmur. Is that a play? Or a mo You know what? It's white-ish. I'm going to put it down low. This thing should go on the wall there. We got another poster. What's this? Three miles home out here. So is that like 30 seconds to Mars? I think that's what they were going for. Let's put some school supplies up in the closet. Game Boy goes there because you're going to have to use that all the time. Your art supplies are going to go up here because you're going to have to open that shit all the time. And I guess your toothpaste and toothbrush are going to have to go in the bathroom. Otherwise, they're going to get upset at me. Right there. Obviously. Stack of clothes goes up there. And then what is this even? What is this? This looks like it might be a... Oh, this is a CD case. A CD tower. That should definitely go somewhere like right up against that spot. Fine, whatever. There. CD player should go over here. There. Then you've got the London Double Decker. And this is some art supplies. So they go up there and then the cat goes here. Now I've got drawers for bras. These are like way too damn organized. I've never seen a bra drawer this organized before. And I don't think that that's realistic. I don't think a lot of this is realistic though. Because you can't do this. Like I'm doing this way faster than... I think it has any right to be done. There's practically no chance a person is going to spend the amount of time that I am to put these things away. It's going to just be too irritating. It's going to be back and forth. Bra organized, not realistic. It is not realistic. Bras are never organized. That's not how bras work. I noticed this person didn't bring their Tamagotchi with them. That seems very irresponsible. pictures that's art it's got a signature on it so you want that to go up a bit higher and this thing needs to go over the computer actually and then that's going to go down lower there we go now that's organized what's pissing them off still what do i got pissing them off i got stuff making them mad somewhere what's making them this thing why is that making them angry just put it there that's ridiculous. That thing was in the closet. It's perfectly acceptable. There's scuff marks on the floor. Make sure you tell them that when you move into the apartment exactly what all the bullshit is. They got weird knocks on the wall and cracks and shit. And you don't tell them that shit. They'll charge it for you when you leave. Oh, wait a minute. This is round. No, that's American. That's definitely American. Just trying to check and make sure. All right, college grad or high school grad, one way or the other. It's a nice graduation cap. Classes start Monday, uni, here I come. So that is kind of British. I got another achievement. I want to see this one because I did this one real stupid. There we go. Just throw everything on the damn floor. It's a nice organization, I think. Bras on the bed, <laughs> panties on the bed, socks on the bed. That's where they go unfortunate because they're comfortable enough to sleep on that you'll never notice like your clothes are eventually just going to get thrown on the bed anyway and all the all of the underwear and stuff is just going to stay on your bed at some point anyway too i like i like the sort of synchronization of it or the sync the sequencing of it 
So everything kind of goes from spot to spot. Though switching between rooms is going to give me a goddamn seizure. It's also a nice sound effect. I like that. And this is where I have my fucking seizure. Where I start jumping between rooms constantly. If I made this go any faster, I would probably have a headache right now. But they're going a lot faster than I did. And there we go. Perfect. Done. That's January 2004. It only took me half an hour to unpack a child's room in a college bedroom. Or I guess a college apartment. 2007. Only three years later. I guess you're... Yeah, this is like a senior level thing. Ooh, this is a full level apartment. You got a job and everything, don't you? Yes, you do. Damn. You got a lot of fucking boxes. There's actually five rooms and then the two other bedrooms I don't have. So this is like a... This is like a shared apartment, maybe. Well, shit, man. That's a lot of stuff, and it's already mostly unpacked. So do I have to clean this place? Or does this place already belong to somebody? I can't click any of this shit, so I'm guessing it already belongs to somebody. Well, fuck. You know what? I'm gonna do this stuff next time. I like this game. I think I'm gonna play it again next week. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back next week. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.